Much of the appeal of Yellowstone lies in the contradictory nature of Dutton Ranch. The institution is simultaneously incredibly powerful, with decades of history, political influence, and muscle behind it, while also being hopelessly fragile, with constant infighting tearing the family apart and greedy bureaucrats waiting in the wings. But while us fans have sure enjoyed eagerly waiting for the inevitable collapse, I don't think anybody expected that the real collapse of Yellowstone would occur off-screen, as recent news shed light that the beloved series may come to a premature end, blurring the borders of TV and reality. So, is it true that a feud between Kevin Costner and the showrunner Taylor Sheridan is ending the show? What about the rumors that he's simply being replaced with another big name? As we attempt to answer these questions, we're gonna dig through a web of truth, questionable statements, and outright lies. You understand my way. Before we dive in, remember to give this video a thumbs up to show support, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Are you ready? Well, let's head on out to the ranch, wrestle up the truth, and go find out. What, what happened? happened? Yellowstone details. Before we dive in, let's recap what's been going on in the world of Yellowstone. The first half of the fifth season was very controversial with the fans. You had one side claiming the show had gotten too ridiculous, and another claiming it was just the next logical step in a slow burn build. But even many of those who were skeptical of season five had faith that the second half would pull it all together. Really for two big reasons. One being Taylor Sheridan, the award-winning showrunner who turned Yellowstone from a crazy idea into one of the biggest shows in modern era. With his tight plotting and firm grasp of human emotion, he's been called by some a modern-day Charles Dickens. The second reason is the show's undisputed star, Kevin Costner. Along with a very talented cast and crew, these two married old-school swagger with new-school sharpness. However, it has been recently reported that a vicious conflict between the two could destroy everything they've built together. And to all you Yellowstone fans, of course this is pretty shocking. Especially because, by all accounts, everybody associated with the show had every intention of keeping it going. Well, at the Golden Globe Awards, Kevin Costner was announced Best Actor in a Drama Series for his role in the show. And at the red carpet, Cole Hauser, who plays Rip Wheeler, declared there would be definitely two more seasons of Yellowstone, at the very least. So what happened to turn such an incredible show into a big ol' question mark? Kevin Costner as is often the case with big, messy productions, it's hard to find out exactly what's fact and what is fiction. And the producers of Yellowstone haven't made it any easier. In an official statement, they denied the imminent demise of the beloved show. But inside sources tell a different story, so here's the scoop. A-list actors often have mixed feelings about acting on TV. On one hand, starring on a series has some huge perks more guaranteed paychecks, less strenuous filming, and the chance to throw some more weight around. But then there's also some clear downsides. Many film purists view TV as a step down from the magic of the silver screen. And the idea of years dedicated to a single project can feel incredibly restrictive. And Kevin Costner definitely took both of these factors into account and sought to strike a balance from the start. He limited himself to 65 days of shooting per season. But unfortunately, Kevin allegedly began to tire of the show and wanted to cut his days down even more, down to 50 for the first half of season 5. But if that wasn't enough, a new project in which he would be starring, directing, and co-writing forced him to cut his shooting time for season 5 down to just a week. And honestly, it was unclear if that would even be physically possible or if Kevin was just looking for a way out. The producers of Yellowstone allegedly rejected the offer, whether it was made in good faith or not. But if these allegations are coloring your view of Kevin, just hold your horses for just a moment. Because whether or not Yellowstone continues, there's a whole lot more to this story. Denial 
Understandably, Kevin Costner was inundated with media requests for comment as a result of these allegations, that he was refusing to commit enough time to film Yellowstone properly. You might expect him to defend that decision. After all, such a storied star could absolutely make the claim that his time is better spent on bigger projects than TV, even if this is the biggest TV project since Breaking Bad. People might not agree with that statement, but he could certainly make an argument to that effect. But that isn't what he did at all. So what did this Hollywood legend say in response? Well, Kevin himself has avoided making a statement on the matter, which is, I guess, no surprise. Like Dutton, Kevin often prefers to speak softly and carry a big stick. But his lawyer wasn't quite as passive about these allegations. He did not make a non-statement, like the producers of the show did. No, he made a public statement, saying the claim that Kevin was asking for just a week of filming was a complete lie. It's unclear who's really telling the truth about this whole scenario, but the rabbit hole goes even further as it turns out, because whether or not these claims are true, there seems to be a good amount of animosity between the two parties. Kevin's assistant posted online about Sheridan's Tulsa King, saying, quote, Stick to westerns, bro. You don't know shit about this life. Stay in your lane, country boy. I'm actually embarrassed for you as a writer and creator. Which, coming from an assistant, is… wow, that's bold. And while this doesn't necessarily say anything about Kevin's opinion, it does say something that such a close friend of his would feel comfortable making such inflammatory statements. There is one more important piece of information we do have about the future of Yellowstone. And it involves some very famous people you might not expect. Matthew Replacement Like I mentioned, a big reason why Yellowstone took off was that it combined a sharp young writing staff with a Hollywood legend. A perfect combination for the intergenerational struggle of the Duttons. This magic mixture was also a crucial factor in the success of Yellowstone's spin-offs. 1923, starring Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford, and 1883, which featured Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, and Sam Elliott. So, with Costner gone, it appears that Yellowstone is pretty much dead in the water. But sources have claimed that Taylor Sheridan has an ace up his sleeve that would keep Yellowstone going, with some big, big changes. So here's the deal. According to this report, much of the main cast of Yellowstone would move over to yet another spinoff. This one featuring none other than Matthew McConaughey. Yes, that's right, the guy famous for Dazed and Confused, who loves high school girls because he keeps getting older and they stay the same age. And honestly, I'm kind of all for Matthew putting on some cowboy boots and stepping onto the Dutton Ranch. It's not the biggest reach. McConaughey has made headlines in recent years for teasing a possible race for governor of Texas the very state where the real-life ranch that inspired the Dutton Ranch is. While he's no longer planning on being the big boss of the Lone Star State, he's certainly earned himself sufficient cowboy cred to give a convincing portrayal on screen. Even if Yellowstone isn't long for this world, it would be stupid to count Taylor Sheridan out. If the Matthew McConaughey project falls through, he's got enough big projects to keep his pockets full for quite some time. You have Mayor of Kingstown with Jeremy Renner in its second season. It's a great show about the prison system and its relationship with the town surrounding. Then you have the newest one, Tulsa King featuring Sly Stallone, which was just renewed for its second season. You serious? Then there's Lioness, a spy show with none other than Morgan Freeman and Nicole Kidman. And we can't forget about Land Man, starring Billy Bob Thornton. Now that begins production in May. Even legendary showrunners rarely have such an illustrious string of collaborations. And we here at What Happened are huge Taylor Sheridan fans. It's always sad when behind-the-scenes drama disrupts our favorite shows, and it would be absolutely tragic if these conflicts were to lead to the end of Yellowstone. I think I speak for many people when I say that I sincerely hope the people behind it are able to sort out the differences and create an epic finish to the tale of the Duttons. Above all, let's hope that none of the talented, stubborn people involved ends up at the train station, if you know what I mean. Alright, that's enough of me, now we want to hear from you. What is the best season of Yellowstone? How did you enjoy season 5? 
Do you think Kevin Costner really tried to get out of filming? Is Taylor Sheridan some kind of whiz kid or is he just another grizzled star? And finally, would you watch a Matthew McConaughey spinoff? Get in the comments and tell me your thoughts. Before you gallop on out of here, please hit that thumbs up icon to show support. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you 